World of Tank Blasters, it's a little finger with a did I win or did I lose? This game was submitted by Fawn. Oh boy, we miss you, Fawn. Um, if for those of you that don't know, Fawn was the main moderator for my Discord channel, and uh, he recently had to let go of his duties uh, just because he had, I think, somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 other servers that he was dealing with. So. Um, we really appreciate all your hard work and uh, was just going through some old videos deciding what to put up on channel and, and saw this and uh, thought, you know, why not honor um, someone who worked so hard for our channel and, and did so much on his own time voluntarily. So, yes, on the Badger Vineyards here, obviously tier 10, top tier. Um, and, you know, uh, I don't know if uh, we really need to pause and, and do a did I win or did I lose, because if anyone was paying attention at the start of the game, his royal fatness is on the enemy red team in SDB1. And so that right there probably gives you about a 30% chance of winning the game if you're on the other team. So, um, this is a very valiant effort, needless to say, by Fawn here. And, uh, you know, just a really unique tier 10 tank, the Badger. It can be uh, very team dependent because of your lack of mobility. Obviously, it's got wonderfully great frontal armor. Uh, just that lower plate is is a trouble spot, and if you can keep it hidden, um, you will do really, really well. And, uh, yeah, so bouncing the side of light tanks, um, you know, I, I just don't get this. Um, those Sheridans and T-92s have so much of an advantage already, um, and for a shot like that not to pen... You know, it, it's just really unfair, but uh, you can see he's got over 2,000 damage. He's taken out two enemies at the moment, um, and yeah, they're up by a tank. Somehow they've gotten behind him. Uh, he tries to snap that in, and they're still up by a tank. And there is his royal fatness. Uh, just knowing how to play that tank to conserve hit points until the very end. And, you know, if it's one thing I harp on you guys all the time, you want to be a Unicum, uh, then that is how you play. Um, you have to conserve your hit points. Basically, he's getting as much out of his team as he can um, and making sure that he is going to be the last person alive in just about every game so that he can do as much damage and control the outcome as much as he can and look at this now they are down two tanks it is um, three on one and why this bat chat uh, drives out into the open here um, and starts driving round and round the building um, he even gets called out by one of his teammates there. But nice pen on the Badger. Uh, that's a shame. Not, that must have just hit too high or something. E50 coming at him. Kind of does a little bit of a favor there. Bumping him and helping him turn a little faster. And, you know, he's now up over 3,700 damage. He's going to finish off the E50. And there goes the bat chat. Uh, WZ says absolutely worthless. Um, so now Fawn in a TD has to contend with one of the best players in the game in an STB highly mobile tank. And to be quite honest, you know, I think he does an excellent job here using the terrain of the bridge um, to make sure that. You know, he can get a shot in every once in a while. 
But you see how a player like this is able to uh, get their shot in and then reload and get back up and get another shot in. And like I said, because he conserved all of his hit points to the very end, you know, he's able just to hang in there and trade with Fawn at the end here. But Fawn did a great job keeping that um, E100 Yegaru out of the pitcher, um, but did allow his royal fatness there to score the victory and do 8,900 damage. Um, Buffon with 5,400 damage was a very valiant effort and a nice little fun game there at tier 10. And that's what we want to see. Uh, tired of these lopsided things. Um, so send in your did I win or did I lose close games and onto Discord and we'll get them featured on channel here. And as always, have fun out there. Stay safe, get educated, and of course, not fingered. Little finger out.